Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So what I'm going to show you today is the XF-11 aircraft that came out yesterday. This cost around uh, 22 pounds, so I'm guessing 25 or 27 dollars. So yeah, let's go. This is an oldie, it's an historic bird. So let's go and uh, check it out. First glance at it, the cockpit looks beautiful. Very nice on detail. Look at this. Look at this thing. Hello darling, how you doing? What you doing over there? So yeah, she's my co-pilot. And look at this. We got all this equipment in here. Very nice. They're pretty good. Just look at that. All this stuff in here seems to have. Look at that! How cool is this? This is a massive bird. Great! It looks great. Oh, so we can go in here. This is so cool. This is so cool, man. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! A lot of flying this. Just sit here and fly the plane. This is pretty cool, man. This is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna fly in there. So let's see what's this stuff here. So that's the lights. That's cool. I didn't realize how big this was. How big this aircraft was. So yeah, let's check it out from the outside. Oh yeah. That is a big bird. Sounds great. Nice detail as well. Look at that. So let's uh, turn the engines off for now. So it's got double. So it's got two layers of blades there. That's pretty cool. Interesting. I've never seen an aircraft to have that in a sim so far. So that's cool. So yeah, that's pretty good. This thing's supposed to have a clipboard. There it is. I think they have quite a few stuff in here. Faders. Others. They got vibrations. Uh, visual effects. Garmin. So yeah, that's that. I'm gonna turn that off, I don't need that. Random uh, faders. Speeds. So fuel, drop tanks. Yep, that's that. Feeders. Anything else in here? Canopy. Dirty cleaner, keep it dirty. No one's saying let's keep them on. That's the garments. We've seen that. So that's the guide for the speed. Pretty cool. I think that's it for that. I don't think there's anything else that I missed on the clipboard. So that's cool for now. You've got all this stuff in here. Just look at that. Fire extinguishers. Virtualization. So that's that the bottom thing. So you can go down there. Oh. Let me see what's in there. What we're we hiding in here. Well, that's pretty cool, man. We've got the tanks in here. 
center tanks. This is interesting. I never seen something like this in a plane. This is cool. So you got the hat in there. Hey, sorry for disturbing you, you know. But gotta do what I gotta do. Anything else in here? We'll chalk. Yep, that's there. A little tape. Just got like a recorder kind of thing in there. That's interesting as well. Lots of details on this aircraft, man. Looks good. So far, so good. Very impressed by it. So let's check this part now. You know, the buttons and everything. Let's see. Let me just leave the control for a second. Let me check it with the mouse. Master heading. That's the AP, I'm guessing, the one. Autopilot. Storage door closed. Access door closed. We open them later. We'll try them later. Roger trim. GPU. Got the wheel chocks there. The GPU. The covers. Access ladder. That's there. Fuel pumps. That's pretty good. There's the magnetos, of course. To start the plane. UV lights. Console lights. So everything is in here. We can try them later as well. Navigation on. Strobes on. Let me turn them off. Don't need them for now. Turn them off. Flaps, lever, pitch trim. That's cool. Park and brake. This is pretty good, man. So far, so good. I'm really liking this. So, yeah, let's uh, take it for a spin. Let me start it up. Look at that. How cool is that? Look at them blades, man. Look at them blades. Going. And the next one is going to start in a second. So let the first one take power. And let the second one start after that. So, yeah. Let's look at the size of this thing. That's the runway. That's the aircraft. So it tells you a lot about this aircraft. So let's wait for that. Yep, it's starting now. Great. Let me check the detail in the meantime. When that starts, got some kind of a weathering there or kind of a wear and tear. Looks good. So, yeah, let's uh, take it for a spin now. Let's try it out. I really like the cockpit on this. It's really good. I like how it feels as well. Very smooth. Very smooth. Let's look at that. That's nice. Lovely. Check the gears. So they come up all the way. They should come up, I guess. So let me put the flaps up. Maybe that's that. Let's see what happens with the gear. Is there something stopping them? Not sure, let me just check that quick. Yep, 
deficit. Great, perfect. Pretty good. It's not the like smooth, but uh, for the size of this thing, you can expect that not being like smooth in flyability. But that feels good. Definitely. Yeah, so it's not bad for its size. So it is just. Uh, Let's do like a quick turn over here. I just want to fly it from that thing there at the front. I just want to fly it from there. I'm curious about that. Really, I want to fly it from there. I just want to go there. I just love to fly it from there. I don't know why. I just want to see everything. Look at that, man. This is the first plane that's got this in the sim. That's pretty cool. That's worth, that's worth it man, just for that it's worth it. Just look at that. You can see everything. That's nice. There's an historic bird this one, so... Gotta respect that. Of these oldies. I love this aircraft, you know, the older aircraft. They're pretty cool. I know the new stuff are more modernized, but they cannot match the how the feeling of this. You know, you get something special every time you fly this stuff. I don't know why, what is it, but maybe because you in control, more like the plane not being in control of you, like today. This is all new. That's why I like it. Like uh, all the cars, I guess, when you total control today, all automatic and all that stuff inside, you know, Elec electrics and all that electronic stuff. It's different, you know, things are run differently today. But we gotta appreciate this stuff, this oldies. So I hope we can do a good landing on this. My first time trying it. I just got it myself, so... First time flying it, I haven't tried it. First time in the cockpit, first time everything. I haven't watched any videos about this. I just want to do it myself. If I can do it okay, if I don't, that's fine as well. I just want to try it myself. I don't want to spoil it. Not with aircraft like this. I just want to have that feeling, if it's good, or bad, but so far, I have a great feeling about this. You know straight away anyway, if you don't like something, you know. When it's bad, it's bad, you know it. So this, great. So far, so good. I love it. This massive bird, just look at this. You can leave in there. So yeah. And of course I'm going to show you with the lights on, of course I'm going to show you later, when I land. I'm just going to look at the pilots there, just look at the pilots. I mean, that's a view, you know. Flying this thing in real life, that's a view to have. Very nice. So yeah, let's see if we can do a quick turn in here and go for the landing. I don't want to turn too harshly, as, uh, as you can see the wings are just massive and you just don't do it with an aircraft like this. We do with the Chesna and all that, fighter jet but not with this, this needs a bit more. Needs to be a bit smoother on the turnings. We need to be careful. So yeah, I think we're gonna be alright. 
So yeah, let's uh, get to them gears. Yep, let's do that. Let's watch that speed. I don't want to fall. So yeah, let's give it a bit more speed. Just in case. Really nice cockpit, I gotta say. I really like it. So yeah, let's have a look. If we can do it. Flaps down. Let's see if we can do it. Oh yeah, that's fine. I just I just feel it. It's gonna be fine. But I don't wanna be too slow though. I've done that in the past, being too slow. Too slow is never too good. I'd rather be a bit faster than slow. I think we're gonna be okay, I guess. Yeah, it's alright. Not bad. Maybe a bit fast, but I think we're alright. We're in the middle as well. So let's see how these things turn on the ground. Let's try that as well. I'm gonna show you night time. Yeah, it just turns. That's pretty good. No issues. Yes, so good. So far, so good. Definitely like it. Yeah, definitely like this aircraft. Feels smooth on the ground. Just feels right. Everything about it feels really good. Yeah, handles fine. The ground. We're just gonna park there, and I'm gonna show you that uh, the lighting, of course. They're pretty straightforward, everything seems straightforward, like everything seems to work okay. No issues, flyability wise or functionality wise, no, all good. Yeah, perfect. No issues there. So yeah. Let me try night time, let me turn these uh, lights on. Yep. Turn them on. Let's try that. I should have opened it before, shouldn't I? But you can see they open as well, so I should have opened them before. That's what test them, but uh, yeah, they look good. Function right. So yeah, let's uh, let's check in at night time. Perfect. Yeah. You can read everything, see everything. Let me just check anything else. If I missed anything, any lights on the back there? Should be any. Should be some lights in there, actually. Yep. Let me just check that. They're on. Okay, so let's have a look in here. Yeah, in here. Done, done. Let me check that. 
Yep, that works. What's in there? So yeah. Let me see if there's anything in here. But yeah, looks good. Definitely like how it looks. Well, let me check that. Don't need to do anything with that. Now that's there. Back to daytime. Perfect. So yeah. Put it off. Put it off. That's good. So yeah, let's try this stuff. Turn this off. Anything else in here? Yeah, turn them off. I'm gonna continue, so I'm gonna look at the the outside. The chokes and the ladder, as you can see. So uh, yeah, everything seems good. Definitely recommend this aircraft, it's beautiful. Looks really good. Definitely looks really good. Lots of features. A massive bird. Definitely unique, definitely unique. Very nice. Yeah, definitely recommend this one. So yeah, if you like this old aircraft, you know, the historic aircraft, just go for it. I think it's worth it pretty good look at the size of this thing and that's cool so yeah I hope uh, you enjoyed this video you want and only quantum game uploads thank you very much for watching bye bye see you soon take care